Hello friends, welcome back. In the backdrop of bitwise operators, in order to understand bitwise operators, in the previous video, we have studied about the various number systems such as decimal, hexadecimal, binary, octal. As I mentioned, in order to understand the bitwise operators, we will be focusing on binary number representation. In the previous video, you must have seen already a table which shows the comparison of representations in decimal, hexadecimal, corresponding binary numbers and octal numbers. Okay, Let's not too much bother about the other number systems, rather we will focus only on the binary number system. Right. So, let's take this bitwise operations on binary numbers. The bitwise operators work only on binary numbers. Okay. So, let's take an example to understand each of these bitwise operators. So, these are the bitwise operators that we will be trying now. Say, let's consider our digit 8, which is represented in decimal. So, if I try to write this number in a binary fashion, you have seen in the previously there was a table written where we had written this, right? So, 8 in order to represent 8, I have written 1 triple 0. So, where this is indicating 2 power 0, this is 2 power 1, this is 2 power 2, and this is 2 power 3. 2 power 3 is 8. Right. So, let's take another number 12. How do I represent this? If you do not understand how to write numbers, please go back to video, previous video and watch the representation of various numbers in binary number system. Right. So, this is how I write 12. Okay. So, how we have units, tens, hundreds and thousands in the normal decimal system. Here we have, so whatever is this number 2, 0 into 2 raised to 0, 0 into 2 raised to 1, 1 into 2 raised to 2 and 1 into 2 raised to 3. 1 into 2 raised to 3 is 8. 1 into 2 raised to 2 is 4. So, 8 plus 4, 12. Now, let me do the bitwise operator AND operation on these two numbers. When I do AND operation on these two numbers, okay. So, AND operation, if you remember, I had explained you using a switch logic where if both the numbers are 1s, then only the output will be equal to 1. I had given an example, if both the switches are on, then only the bulb will glow, right? Similarly, so 0 and 0, what is the expected answer? 0 ended with 0 gives you 0. 0 ended with 0 gives you 0. Then 0 ended with 1 gives you 0. 1 ended with 1 gives you 1. That means the answer would be this, 1 triple 0. How do I represent it in a decimal? it will be 8. Okay. So, whenever I add the numbers 8 and 12, I get 8. So, implementation together, all the examples we will see at the last. Let us take another example. Let us take F as one digit. F is represented with four ones. Similarly, E if I consider, it is triple one zero. When I add them, when I add them, you can try out parallelly. 0 ended with, sorry, 1 ended with 0, it is 0. 1 ended with 1 gives you 1. 1 ended with 1 gives you 1. 1 ended with 1 gives you 1. So, answer should be 1, 1, 1, 0. This is E. Right. So, this is with respect to the AND operation. Similarly, now we will take OR operation. Okay. So, what is this number? This is 14. Similarly, we will take now OR operation. Same digits, le let us take 8 and 12. If I do the OR operation on this, then you can see like OR operation truth table if you observe, right? 0 and 0 gives you 0 itself. 0 and 0 gives you 0. 0 and 0 gives you 0. 0 and 1 
either of the numbers if if have if it has one then answer will be one so one odd with one again one so if you observe now what is the output of oring 8 and 12 you will have 12 okay similarly i will take again f and e oring operation bitwise or operation when i do you can parallelly try out to find the answer one odd with zero i will start always from right to left okay this is called as lsb least significant bit and this is called as most significant bit i always start from right to left right? so one odd with two, zero gives you one remaining everywhere i have one odd with one one odd with one one odd with one so answer would be 15. So this is the OR operation. Next, we will see with the power 2, which is nothing but your XOR. Right? This is power symbol, which we have tried out as a mathematical operator. Here, we will be using it as a XOR. So XOR, what is the property is? So whenever I have different inputs, different inputs, I mean to say it can be 0, 1 or 1, 0. Okay, same inputs, like inputs means when I say I refer to 0 XOR with 0 or 1 XOR with 1. Okay, so in both these cases, 0 XOR with 0 gives you 0, 1 XOR with 1 gives you 0. Whenever you are trying to do XORing operation on same like numbers, okay, so it is going to give you 0. Unlike, it is going to give you 1. So, in this case, you must have already guessed the output. 0 XOR with 0 gives you 0. 0 XOR with 0 gives you 0. 0 XOR with 1 gives you 1. And 1 XOR with 1 gives you 0. Right? This is the operation. Similarly, I expect you to try out with F and E doing the XOR operation. Right. So, I hope you tried out this. So, let's try understanding how to 